Again, these factorials and powers are getting more difficult. So let's write this down. So limit as n goes towards infinity. And then you're going to get n plus 1 factorial to the fifth power over 5n plus 5 factorial times 5n factorial and at the bottom you're going to get n factorial to the fifth power. All right, this is some work here, right? So let's write this down, equals limit n goes towards infinity. And I'm going to concentrate on the um, that, that fifth power first. And I see n plus 1, right, I'll, I'll put this on the side for you. It would be n plus 1 times n factorial, and there'd be five of those down. And on the bottom, you, get, you got five of those um, n factorials. So what do you be left off with? You know, be left off with, you know, n plus 1 to the fifth power. Put this down. Let me point out what I just did over here. I did this. All right. And again, we're on the ninth problem, so it might be getting a little bit easier for you. Mistakes can happen, though. So let, let's see if we can figure this one out. And the bottom is, you know, 5n plus 5. 5n plus 4. This is like a deja vu. 5n plus 3. 5n plus 2. 5n plus 1. And then you can get 5n factorial. Now it would cancel off. So let's write that down. So what do you get over there? 5n plus 5. 5n plus 4. 5n plus 3. 5n plus 2, and 5n plus 1. All right? Uh, I'm going to erase this over here. I don't need that anymore. And the top I'm going to write a little differently. I'm going to write as n plus 1 down 5 times. And I'm going to see if I can do that. And you know, look, look, like looking at it, if if you if you, I'm not going to multiply it out, of course, but um, on top you have fifth degree n n n n. It's it's five factors of n, and on bottom you got that too. So I'm going to point out, not that I want to do it, that you get n to the fifth, and then some other terms there. What do you get on bottom? You would get five to the fifth power n to the fifth power, plus a bunch of terms over there. But I hope you realize if you did that, and you divide through by the highest degree variable, which would be n5, you get 1 over 5 to the fifth power. That's certainly less than 1. What do I know? It's convergent. Thank you.